You're right, YouTube. I thought I would just kind of walk you through my vintage lineup that I got here. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me working on these things. But if not, then this is this is what I have. This is what I've been working on here. I'll start here on this end. This is my 1980 SRX. Um, I completely redid this one. Uh, not a full ground up restoration or anything like that, but um, I just did a good uh, revival of it. Stripped the whole thing down completely. All the videos are on on my channel here so this one here uh, I went with the 79 motor and all 79 electronics and carburetors and uh, that motor has been fully rebuilt it's got uh, sleeve cylinders um, yeah so like, like I said this thing's just been completely cleaned up all redone every single nut and bolt on this thing's been taken off and put back on so I'm excited to get out on this thing this year haven't rode it yet just uh, just got it all finished up here Obviously, recovered seat uh, and a newer track on there. Skis have been blasted painted. I did some of the, the footwells here were blasted painted. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, watch the other videos. You'll see see everything that I've done to this thing. Should be a pretty fast sled. Okay, so next I've got my uh, 79 Enticer 250. So I bought, this was the first sled that I, um, first vintage sled that I bought. Um, love this thing. Uh, this has got, I had the original 79 motor with it. So I rebuilt that first and then I rode that for uh, one season. And then for some reason I convinced myself I wanted a motor with the uh, tapered crank. So found a complete 80 sled, got the motor out of it, completely rebuilt this motor. Um, so this is the 80 motor with the tapered stub crank. I'm um, in the newer style clutch. So this this thing's been port and polished, and I did the Makuni carb swap on it there. So around the Makuni with um, just the Unipod filter. Uh, oil injection's been deleted, so running premix. Fun sled. This thing is just an absolute blast. I just love it. It is uh, just so light, and that bottom end single cylinder power is just it's just so fun. And this thing's in great shape, all original. Um, I haven't done a whole lot to this one besides uh, some bearings in the drive. Um, like I said, the motor had the skis blasted and repainted. Some new vent covers that I 3D print or get 3D printed. Uh, pretty decent fit. So, got those. Um, and just a really good cleaning up. That's basically all I had to do this thing. When I bought it, it was in great, great shape. So that's her. All right. So last but not least is the uh, 79 Enticer 300. Uh, I bought this one out of a guy out of a barn. A guy had it sitting since I think it was 1990, sitting there. So again, all original. This is the original hood on it, original paint, original decals. Pretty amazing that you can still find these things. Hide a note on you. Um, so this guy here, I just did ski skins, new seat cover. Let's get under the hood here. This thing was a uh, in pretty decent shape when I bought it. Seat cover, upholstery guy did a terrible job, but it's beside the point. So under the hood here. So this motor, same thing, has been completely rebuilt from the uh, from the ground up. New um, cylinders have been bored, honed, uh, port polished. Crank's been completely redone. All new bearings, all new seals, everything. And a good cleaning up as well for this one. So I rode this guy for two years now. Again, same thing. Absolute blast to ride. Um, Excited to get it out here again this year. I'm running a little low on compression this year for some reason. Last year, when the car was icing up, I think I lost compression. So I may have scored scored the cylinder or something. I'm running about 110 per cylinder when after the rebuild, I was running about 125. So I might pull the top end on there and have a look and see what's going on. Uh, this thing also, I did all new bearings and seals and everything in the drive. So all the chain case bearings, seals, all that's been done. Track. Um, I flipped it around so you get better traction to take off and all the bearings and everything in the suspension's all been redone as well. So I've pretty much torn this thing down to nothing and redid everything. So yeah, that's the 
That's the vintage fleet. Pretty excited. It's getting to be that time of year that uh, we get these things out again. Uh, the SRX, I'm still not 100% done with this guy yet. Still got to do a few things like tighten up the suspension. Um, the hood's not great, so I'm, this hood I'm going to just run for the year, I think. But I'm still going to get one painted. I think I mentioned that in another video, but yeah, that's them. Keep watching.